If you look at any um, uh, non-small cell lung cancer slides, when I started my fellowship long time back, uh, you had this, everybody used to show this, oh, this is non-small cell lung cancer, this is adenocarcinoma, this is squamous cell carcinoma, this is yada, 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 you know, this was the whole pie. And then slowly during my fellowship, started cutting the pie a little bit more cleanly. So this is EGFR mutant, this is ALK mutant, this is ROS, you know, there are different translocations which are out there. And I hope to have that for colorectal cancer where we can take the big pie and break it up into MSI high, BRAF mutant, you know, other, other things. The big thing colorectal cancer obviously care as mutant colorectal cancer patients and we have to find some new therapies for them and that's the challenging part. And, but I, you know, there are new KRAS inhibitors which have been developed. Maybe downstream of KRAS is if you see RAS, RAF, MEC, ERK, maybe ERK combinations uh, can be uh, something in the future. So it's, uh, it's a brave new world out there.